All right, we're looking at the Coolpix S8000. This is the slimmest camera on the planet with a 10x optical zoom. This thing will go from 30 millimeters to 300 millimeters, uh, and that's definitely uh, a very small factor for having that much zoom capability. Uh, if you want a travel camera, something to go with you everywhere that's very versatile, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, it's actually got vibration reduction, f3.5 through 5.6, so 3.5 uh, on the wide end, and 5.6 when it's fully zoomed into 300 millimeter. Uh, right there at 5.6, so nice fast pictures. Uh, it's a 14 megapixel sensor on this camera. Uh, so very large images, very sharp, high detail images. Uh, it's got a three inch display with 920,000 dots. Uh, now that means that this display is high def. Very, very nice detail. That means when you're reviewing your pictures, you can really tell if you got uh, the best image. Now check this out. I'm gonna turn the camera off. It's fully off, as you can see, the shutter has closed and the lens cap is closed. I want to show you how fast uh, it turns on, because it's one of the important things about cameras like this. There you go. It is ready to shoot. Uh, now, watch this. I'm actually going to push the shutter release. Now, you know on a point and shoot, it usually takes uh, a, little, you know, a little bit of time for that to turn on, and it's kind of annoying. You miss the actions. Watch how fast this one shoots. Instant. I mean, instantly took a picture. Now, in that one, I was in continuous uh, shutter mode, or continuous mode, so basically it took 16 low-resolution photos at the same time. Really, really cool. It's basically uh, like snow-mo. Now, I'm going to do this backwards and upside down, but uh, let me see if I can actually get out uh, of this uh, mode and go into the regular mode. Continuous, and I want to go to single shot. All right, so now you're in single shot mode. Uh, you're ready to go, and now watch this. Watch how fast. I mean, it was pretty fast before, but this is even better. It takes the image nearly instantaneously, so very fast shutter release. Uh, now, it's also got a really cool uh, feature, and it's called BSS, or the Best Shot Selector. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to get to that real quick. I'm going to hit Menu, and I'm going to go there to where you pick the shot. And see BSS? It's basically going to take a bunch of photos and it's going to pick the best and the sharpest photo out of up to 10 of images. So it'll take 10 sequential shots very quickly and then pick uh, the, sh the fastest one. It also has one frame per second continuous shooting. The multi-shot, which I just showed you, it's basically going to take 16 low-res images nearly instantaneously and put them all into one uh, big photo. And then you have sport continuous, which is going to take three frames per second, but they're going to be lower resolution. So if you want to catch something that's moving really fast, you're going to use that. Anything else, you're probably just going to use single or the BSS. Now, there's a lot of really cool features in the menu, uh, and I'm going to go through here to show you how simple everything is to navigate. Now, first of all, this wheel over here, not only is it a wheel, but it's also a left and right. Uh, so basically, I can go uh, back and then go to this menu. Uh, it works as both a scroll wheel and as a joystick, so very intuitive, very easy to use. Now, you can change your image sizes here, adjust your white balance, adjust your metering from uh, fully evaluative to spot metering. You can do the different shooting styles through the continuous. You can adjust the ISO. Now, this camera goes up to ISO 3200, which is very, very high. You are going to get a lot of noise at 3200, but up to 1600, it's actually pretty good. You can adjust the autofocus area uh, and also the autofocus modes. If you want to go from a single shot to a continuous so that it tracks your subject, uh, you can do that too. Now, uh, going down here, these are the movie options. This does do 1280 by 720p uh, full HD video, so that's also a very nice feature. It'll do either 13 frames per second uh, or 15 frames per second, uh, and that's a really nice feature. Now, as far as photo features go, uh, when you're actually uh, using the camera for photography, it has some pretty interesting features uh, for taking portraits of people. Uh, one of those is facial detection, uh, which is pretty, pretty commonplace nowadays in high-end digital cameras, and this is very high-end. So uh, it does have a face priority autofocus. It will detect up to 12 faces and automatically focus on those 12 faces. Uh, you also get blink detection, where basically uh, if anyone blinks during the photo or when you took the photo, it's going to automatically uh, highlight that person and let you know with a warning that somebody blinked. You have to take the shot again. It didn't work out. It also has uh, a fair, another fairly common feature that you're seeing on the high-end cameras, which is the smile detection. Point the camera at your face, smile. It understands what's going on, that your eyes are open, you're not blinking, and it's going to automatically take the picture when you smile. So that's really, really cool. Another really cool feature that the camera has built in is uh, skin softening. So basically, if you just took 
a portrait of somebody, you can on the fly soften their skin. So that's really nice. It takes about 10 years off instantaneously. You can also add D lighting or dynamic lighting. It's going to increase uh, the brightness inside of the shadowed area. So if you have a dark area that's shadowed, it's going to bring up the light. You can also do quick retouch, uh, which lets you add contrast or saturation. It has like a, a creative slider that lets you go crazy. Uh, really cool feature. So basically, internal editing. You can actually edit your photos inside plus automatic red eye uh, reduction. Uh, and that's basically it. There's a lot of features in this camera. Very nice lens, very nice body. It's all black. Um, I do will show you real quickly. I'm going to turn the camera off. Uh, the bottom, this is where your SD card goes. So you have a uh, 1050 milliampere hour battery. It's going to give you about 200 shots at full, uh, full resolution. You also have an AV out right here, uh, which is a really small little mini USB looking type port, but it's not. It's an AV out, so if you want to send that to a television, uh, you can do it there, including the video, I might add. Uh, you also have a standard quarter inch by 20 threaded uh, tripod holder, tripod socket. There you go, there's the pop up flash. Uh, so if you want to use flash, you can use that as well, or if you want to turn it off. Uh, also, right up here at the top, it's cool to note that it does have dual stereo mics. Uh, so if you want to record audio, you're actually going to get a left and a right channel. Uh, over here is your zoom controls, uh, and then on the back, very, very simple uh, controls, uh, basically a single dedicated button to recording video. So if you're about to take a photo and you want to change it to video, you know, there you go, it's recording video. Uh, also, you have camera and playback buttons that are dedicated, uh, zoom, I'm sorry, flash, timer, uh, plus or minus exposure compensation, and then a macro mode in case you need to get real close, a dedicated delete button, and then a dedicated menu button, and a place to put uh, a lanyard. So there you go, uh, the S8000 ready to go. Very, very nice camera. Uh, huge 10x optical zoom for something this small. If you need to get large, beautiful photos, if you're going to go on vacation, you want something really small and portable, very versatile, uh, this is what you're looking for. It's the S8000. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Nikon Coolpix S8000 point and shoot camera, type in N13 4678 into any major search engine.